What's up YouTube? This is PopKid and I'm giving you a tutorial video on how to Zelda customize your PC. Now, if you really love The Legend of Zelda and you want to just customize your PC to be all about Zelda stuff, um, this is a tutorial for you. Now, um, as you see in my background screen, I have Twilight Princess Link fighting some darkness and I hope you know how to change your background screen at last. You know, that's, it's simple. Find a picture on Google, uh, sit as right click, sit as desktop background, and boom. But if you want to get more advanced in it, uh, um, you can change the sounds on your computer as well. For example, um, when you uh, do your sound volume, uh, instead of the regular beep, you can make this sound. <coughs> yes, it's the uh, uh, Wind Waker sound. Uh, Wind Waker Link doing his yell. So, um, there's that, uh, and also, uh, in your libraries, uh, whenever you want to click on something, it's the, um, sound that you get whenever you get a rupee. So, yeah, you could, uh, also change it to this, uh, and, um, whenever you're plugging in a device or a USB and you plug it in, you'll get this sound. It's the sound of, that it, of the game saving in Twilight Princess, and uh, see it popped up there, so it's showing you that I actually plug something in, and um, when you unplug it, it's the sound of going to the main menu in Twilight Princess after saving. So you can do those sounds, and uh, I would show you some other sounds, but I, I can't because uh, I have sounds for when you log on and off, but if I log off, then I can't finish the video for you guys. So um, I'm just gonna skip to showing you showing you those sounds as long as well as how you how you get them. So go to right click, go to personalize, go to sounds, and uh, over here is where you could uh, change the sounds the sounds of your thing. So but first I'm gonna show you um I'm gonna show you uh, the sounds for when you log on to your when you log on to to uh, your desktop. This is the sound it'll make. That's uh, whenever you finish a puzzle or something in um, in one of the games, and when you log off, this is the sound it makes. That's the Midna uh, teleporting sound whenever she teleports you somewhere. So there's those sounds. Um, there's some other sounds as well. Uh, let me try to find them. Okay, explanation. Uh, whenever usually like. I know this sound is for usually when when you finish a Windows Live Movie Maker video, you finish it, uh, it'll usually make this sound. Yeah! That's another yink, link, y'all. It's not the same, because this one sounds like this. Huh? And this one is... Yeah! But, uh, just, uh, just uh, another uh, Windows sound that it usually makes, so I changed that as well. And then, um, there's one more. Critical. Oh, yeah, Critical Beep. This is whenever... Something, uh, critical beat? Oh, no, no. Yeah, critical beat. Critical stop. Um, whenever something goes wrong, whenever you can't find a file that your computer's looking for, <coughs> it's Ganondorf. <coughs> so, there's that. I know it's kind of strange as somebody yells, but hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, and to change, to change the sound, all you would have to do is, uh, go to, go to the sound that you want to change go to browse and um select any select any um file that you want any music file that you want to be it's make sure they're short files because you don't want like a two length two minute long video of of sound just uh just so then you can do something but um the way i got these is uh i searched on google uh legend of zelda sounds uh, and uh clicked on the first uh clicked on the first link uh, and um, just uh, look in their website, and they'll have a tons of Zelda songs, Zelda sounds. Uh, you see, I have a ton of them, so just click on it and click open, and then um, it'll be there. You'll have to click apply before you press OK, because when you click apply, that makes it um, apply to your PC. And then you click OK. So uh, that's how you do it. That's how you uh, do your Zelda sounds. And. Um, Another thing I have is, uh, as you can see here, um, I have my some desktop icons changed as well. 
Google Chrome is Majora's Mask. Uh, Firefox is the Halen Shield, and uh, I have Triforce as well. Uh, what this is is um, it's just my recycle bin, but I, I changed the name as well because I can. It's my computer. Um, to do these, these are really uh, simple. Uh, go back, right click, go back to personalized, and click change desktop icons. Uh, it's pretty much the same process except instead of changing the um, sound that it makes, you're just changing the picture. So go to the picture that you want, go to change icon, go to browse, and then um, you search for whatever picture that you want. But you got to make sure that they're in. Um, you got to make sure that it's in icon format, uh, and then uh, you double click it or press o open, and then it'll change it. And you'll press OK, and then um, make sure you click apply again because that makes it apply to your PC before you press OK. Uh, I'm not doing it cause, just because I already have it the way I want it. So you would press OK, and um, that's how you would change. That's how you change your icon. I change all three of them, and then obviously to change the name. Just go double click right there, change the name to whatever you want. I uh, I just decided to keep that one as the Triforce and leave these two the way they are. So that's how you do that. And um, just another little thing I did for Google Chrome since I have the picture of Majora's Mask there. Uh, when I open Google Chrome, my background image is of Majora's Mask, but blown up in more detail. And that's just your Google uh, your Google theme in the background. So to change that is really simple. Go to the web store, uh, go to themes, then just type in Legend of Zelda. And I have a couple pictures here. I have no idea why Sonic's there. But uh, yeah, here's the picture that I wanted. And um, just add it to Chrome is all you need to do. Make sure you have a Chrome account first. Uh, you have to make a Google Chrome account before you can get all this stuff. But just add it to Chrome and then it'll instantly add it to your to your background image like that so whenever you open up a new tab uh, it'll show you that so and that's how you do that uh, um alright that's about it I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned now how to uh, make your computer more Zelda friendly and um this is my first tutorial really that I've done so um hope you guys enjoyed it um might do some more tutorials in the future if um if, if it's possible, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I said that enough. Um, check our video, check our channel for more videos, and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye bye.